Hi everybody, Dr. A with our next video in our Basics of the Lab series on hematology. We're going to look at platelets as part of a CBC. So platelets are small, round to oval, colorless bodies are the wonderful microns in size. They are formed in the bone marrow from the cytoplasm of a megakaryocyte. Megakaryocytes are big, they stay in the bone marrow and then their cytoplasm pinches off and those pieces of the cytoplasm is what enters the bloodstream as platelets. As you can see on this image, platelets on a blood smear stain, um, kind of a blue with some purple uh, granules in it. They are much smaller than a red cell. These actually show a kind of large, so they can often be like half the size pictured on this um, slide. The function of platelets is that they are an essential part of the clotting system. They plug up wounds by adhering to each other and making a mesh. Um, and then they also release factors that are associated with clot formation and trigger clot formation and maintain it there. On your CBC report, your normal platelet count is going to be 150 to 450 times 10 to the 9 per liter. Uh, so your, for your platelet count interpretation, uh, thrombocytosis would be an, a normal increase in the number of platelets, so the high platelet count above 400. Um, you may have abnormalities in platelet function studies with um, thrombocytosis as well as spontaneous bleeding, even though there's so many of them, a lot of them are non-functional. Uh, the clinical consequences of thrombocytosis include thrombosis, so it would be clot formation, hemorrhage, which would be bleeding, and then microcirculatory disturbances, meaning they can be plugs in the uh, capillary circulation, the microcirculation, and that can cause problems. The cause of thrombocytosis uh, is going to be rheumatoid arthritis, asphyxiation. Uh, they can be elevated following surgery, uh, following acute blood loss or with acute blood loss, and then with chemotherapy for leukemia. Thrombocytopenia is going to be a decrease in the number of platelets below a normal range, so a low platelet count. Um, you, with thrombocytopenia, you will see mucosal or cutaneous bleeding in the patients, so it's very common. And the most common cause of death in these patients is going to be bleeding in the central nervous system or in the brain, especially brain bleeds, um, so it would be intracranial bleeding. So it could be a uh, hemorrhagic stroke. Uh, the cause of thrombocytopenia, um, you have thrombotic th thrombocytopenia purpura, or TTP. You have idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura, or ITP. Uh, infectious diseases, acute leukemias, anemias, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and other drugs. Um, so let's look at platelet function. Abnormalities of platelet function can be either inherited or acquired. Inherit, um, inherited platelet disorders, um, the side of bleeding may be predictable, but the severity is not. And in acquired platelet disorders, the risk of bleeding and bleeding patterns are less predictable and more difficult to distinguish. Um, so when your platelets aren't functioning well, there's going to be bleeding is, and bruising is going to be one of the first um, signs and symptoms of that um, going on. The common bleeding sites in patients that have inherited disorders of platelet function include um, ecchymosis of the skin, so this is skin bruising as uh, evidence here, epistaxis, which is nosebleed, gingival bleeding, especially when one's brushing their teeth, and menorrhagia, which is a really, really heavy period bleed in females. And then less common sites of bleeding for those with inherited disorders of platelet function are going to be the gastrointestinal tract, uh, hemorrhage, which is just bleeding and without a specific site, and hematuria, which is blood in urine, which then means that either the kidneys or the bladder are bleeding. And last, uh, we have platelet function tests. There are two. There's a bleeding time, and then there's a platelet aggregation test. So the bleeding time is an indirect test of primary platelet aggregation. Um, it is also affected by low platelet counts and other factors um, can all prolong test results. The normal bleeding time range is two to nine minutes. 
Um, the most notable drug that affects bleeding time and platelet function is aspirin, although ibuprofen can affect it also. And this test is neither sensitive nor specific. It's um, very much dependent on the technique of the person doing the bleeding time, and it is an outdated test that is not done a lot just because there's so much variation that it's hard to get consistent results. The platelet aggregation test um, can detect several functional platelet disorders, um, and uh, that's whether they are inherited or acquired. So it checks how well platelets function, and that one is a more accurate test of platelet function. There you go, that wraps it up for our platelets.